Welcome back. It's time to talk about the very best comic books you could buy this week. We've got a bunch of indie stuff. We've got a ton of DC comics to talk about. we got a little smidge of Marvel as well. And here with me, as always, is Drew from Comic Sleep. How you doing, Drew? Doing great, Wes. Keeping busy, but I always have time to talk about great comics. So let's do that. <laughs> This is what we live for, brother. First up on the indie comic scene, I'm recommending Book of Shadows number two, Valiant Comics, Colin Bunn, Vicente Cifuentes. I don't believe we're going to see Book of Shadows again until 2023, which is very disappointing. But this is pretty cool. It gives us the backstory between the Eternal Warrior and this new villain that's kind of escaped from the veil. It is taking, well, potentially taking over the earth now that they had the Book of Shadows. Very good stuff here. I still don't love the art as much as I liked it before, but this is pretty cool. It's kind of a tight story here. We got, uh, what's their name, Dr. Mirage doing spells and all that stuff. Fun comic book. Yeah, it was. It's a very fun comic, but like you said, the art is a little bit of a step down from uh, John Davies Hunt, I think is the guy's name. Uh, he's going to do Bloodshot. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I love this new villain, and uh, our heroes take him on. They get their butts kicked. They got to retreat, regroup, figure out what he's going to do next. And, uh, yeah, it's very fast-paced, mysterious. Um, I I like the art. Yeah, I got to recommend this one. Yeah, this is very, very good. A little disappointing that it's not going to be back for quite some time. This is the best thing Valiant's put out in a couple of years. So definitely check this one out. Colin Bunn is in his wheelhouse when he's doing kind of uh, horror-based superhero stuff. So Book of Shadows, absolutely fantastic. Let's go over to one of your big recommendations, Gunslinger Spawn, number 11, Image Comics, Todd McFarlane, Brett Booth. And Brett Booth is, is woo, he is really big in the heat on this one. You know, one thing I, I, I we can tell sometimes when when an artist phones in their work, Brett has never ever phoned in his art once. It, it, his art is just terrific, especially in this issue. And yeah, Gunslinger reunites with an old friend from earlier in the series, and uh, he comes across an even older, less friendly individual he had an encounter with. And let's just say it doesn't end too well for one of those two at the end. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. It's action-packed. It's funny. I love this. This is this is the Spawn title right now. I don't care what anyone else says. This is the Spawn book right now. Gunslinger Spawn is the breakout character. There's plenty of Spawn action out there with Spawn, King Spawn, The Scorched. There's another one out there I'm missing. But I, I'm with you. I think Gunslinger Spawn absolutely stands out as the very best title now let's go over to Source Point Press. Good Boy Volume 2, Number 4, Garrett Gunn, Christina Blanche, Kit Wayless on art. Things are really picking up as far as the consequences of the actions of this dog. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like you said, this is the conclusion to this story arc. And yeah, our boys got the big confrontation. I mean, who comes out on top? You got to read to find out. This was a solid conclusion to this chapter, as well as new beginnings, too. Yeah, art is terrific. The narrative as well. The dialogue is great. Yeah, uh... Garrett Gunn, Christy Blanche, they're doing a terrific job with the series. The first volume was all right, but each issue and volume since then has only gotten better. I can't recommend this enough. Yeah, the first volume of Good Boy was kind of beholden to the John Wick story. It certainly deviated and found its own voice in the second volume. I imagine we'll be getting a lot more of this in the future. I think this has been a big hit so far for Source Point Press. Let's go over to Scout Comics. They've been putting out a ton of horror comic books. You've been a big fan of what Scout's doing Pentagram of Horror, number three, Marco Fontanelli, writing and illustrating. This was a very, very, very creepy modern retelling or reappropriation, if you will, of the Book of Genesis and the Garden of Eden. This time it's in a virtual reality environment. And just like in the original Eden, there are going to be snakes with temptation. And uh, this was just really, really, really good. And honestly, this is the best horror series right now. Marco Fontanelli he is an incredible artist and an up-and-coming storyteller. Uh, people need to keep this guy on your radar. Yeah, Marco Fontanelli is a new talent to keep an eye out for. So we had plenty of good indie comic books that you should be reading this week. Let's go over the big two. We've got one Marvel comic to talk about. Janice Vell, Captain Marvel number two. Peter David, Juan and Ramirez. Peter David at the top of his game on a character that kind of fell by the wayside some time ago, bringing him back into continuity but 30 years ago. Yeah, and uh, well, what's cool is that he's doing it. Yeah, modern. He's doing it in modern time and in the past, which is a lot of fun with this. And uh, yeah, yeah, from the get go in this issue, appearances are deceptive. People aren't who they appear to be, and we find out where Death herself is and who took her. Yeah, uh, Cap gets his nega bands back, and it's bad news for the bad guys, or is it? Yeah, it's very fast paced, very kinetic, action packed, funny, 
well illustrated. I really dig this. This is how you do a flipping action comic book in Marvel Comics. Peter David is the man. He gets it. Marvel Comics doesn't have a whole lot of quality out there right now. They're just in a little bit of a down period. It's a little surprising they haven't noticed how good Peter David is right now with all these miniseries he's doing. But, hey, I appreciate the the work he's putting in. Joe Fixit's coming around the quarter. Definitely excited for that. Let's go over to DC Comics. I'm definitely recommending Action Comics 1046. Philip Kennedy Johnson. This week we have Dale Eagle Shame on art. It is definitely a downgrade in art as far as I'm concerned. Doesn't look quite as sharp as we were getting before. But this is kind of the comic book I've been waiting for. This War World saga took a very long time to kind of flesh out. We were definitely shown that, that Clark Kent is a warrior. He doesn't need his superpowers to be a hero. But it really comes in here because he's starting to get some powers back. But he needs to get a little bit more power so he can fight Mongol. And it turns out this isn't your granddaddy's Mongol. This Mongol will absolutely hit you upside the head and try to murder your ass. Very good comic book. I was very excited about this. Just wish the artist, you know, hadn't changed. I literally like Federici on this. Yeah, I know. And uh, I, a little spoiler alert, I read the book. I read the, the Superman one shot next for next week. And he's nowhere to be found in that art in the next book, which is disappointing. But yeah, uh, this issue was solid. Very well paced. Action packed. Superman goes on that quest to get the magical MacGuffin. Does he get it? Can he get it? What obstacles does he got to face? You got to read to find out. Yeah, this was a solid, good issue. Uh, like you said, we've been waiting uh, over a year for this issue. And yeah, this one did not disappoint a little bit in the art. But yeah, it's still a solid, good issue. We also got the finale of another comic book that's been brewing since essentially since Future State. Ram V jumped into to a Swamp Thing, did an epic story in two issues. Here we have Swamp Thing number 16 with Mike Perkins still on art and kind of wrapping up his big Swamp Thing saga as he kind of moves over to Detective Comics full time. This is a bit of a divisive issue. I know that you personally loved it. Yes, uh, this is the final issue. I thoroughly enjoyed this all the way through. I know certain people, uh, <clears throat> Gabe, uh, haven't really enjoyed this this much. But, um, yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the ending to this issue. Yeah, the new avatars of the parliaments, they have a choice to make. What path will they go down? If they're going to ascend, they must choose. Do they wish to be better or to be worse? And neither one make the same decision, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this was a solid, damn good conclusion and a great series overall, in my opinion. Not the best Swamp Thing run, but arguably one of the second or third best right behind Alan Moore. And Mike Perkins' art is just like Candyman. I can just eat it up all damn day. I love it. I thought you meant Candyman like the villain, like in front of the mirror three times. Candyman. Yeah, would that be Honey? Was he, was he was involved with Honey, so it'd be even a lot of Honey. Or Bees, if, yes. Bees, Those yeah. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Let's go over to Deathstroke Incorporated, number 12, Ed Brisson, Dexter Soy, Ed Brisson taking over for Josh Williamson. I am not personally reading this one. I am done with year one stories in DC Comics. If you want to tell me a year one story, I'm going to stop reading your book until it's over. The gimmick has played out in my mind, but you think this is absolutely worth reading. So I am really recommending this issue. I strongly recommend this issue because it is year one Deathstroke versus an early, an early Green Arrow. And they throw down and have one hell of a long, damn good fight. I flippin' loved it. And they do not hold back on each other. Yeah, this this is going to go down, probably for me, as one of my favorite comics of the year. Because it was so kinetic, so fast-paced, so 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 fast-paced, so action-packed. I, I, I loved it. This is what I wanted. Well-drawn, great dialogue. It is one of my strongest recommends this week. Deathstroke Inc. number 12. I'm not coming back for any more year one stories. You can't convince me. They've told <laughs> enough at this point. Now let's go over to Detective Comics 1063. Ray and B, Raphael Albuquerque. He's still kind of setting the table on this one. I thought he did a great job in the first issue. If you like this, I think you'll still like this issue as they flesh out this new Oregon family just a little bit here. Yeah, this issue, it, it is packed. There, this issue is very flipping packed, and, and I love it. There's a lot going on, a lot of characters Bruce has Bruce has a nice little talk with Harvey, who's been quote unquote fixed, I guess you could say. Uh, they both recognize that Gotham's been changing, the shadows and everything are changing, and uh, someone's making moves in the Gotham underworld. And Bruce wants to know who, but only, he only finds one word, and uh, it's a uh, wolf. So we'll, hopefully we'll find out what that means. And we get descendants of the Arkham family coming to claim their stake, and they don't want it, want it to pass it along as a memory. Yeah, there's some, uh, and we get a return of a villain we haven't seen since 1969. I had to look this up last time we heard the heard of this villain. I'm like, I don't remember him. Yeah, 1969. 
and he fits perfectly in the situation. I loved it. And uh, yeah, I am going to strongly recommend this issue. Detective Comics 1063, Ram V, once again, he's nailing it. I think Ray V taking over Detective Comics is a welcome change. It's definitely going to have its own tone and flavor, which you kind of need with the amount of DC, DC Comics featuring Batman right now. You need to do something a little bit different. That's a welcome change. This is your last comic book recommendation. Task Force Z number 11, Matthew Rosenberg, Eddie Barrows. I love Eddie Barrows' art, but I had to make a choice. Task Force Z or DC versus Vampires, and I chose DC versus Vampires. This is coming down the final stretch. I believe there's only one issue left. That's correct. Only one issue left, but this issue, holy crap, this is just high-octane fun. We get explosions, guns, dead bodies, reanimated dead bodies, screaming heads in jars, and finally, we get the, the the return of Robo Bunny Batman from New 52. It, he's in this, and how he's utilized, who utilizes them, I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, there is a, a lot of craziness going on in this, and Eddie Burroughs is just the right guy to be drawing the craziness in this issue. It is so well illustrated by him. I, I had so much fun reading this. Task Force Z, number 11. This is a great series by Matt Rosenberg. Drew says this is like the best DC week in a few months now, right? This one yeah, was just packed wall-to-wall you know, quality comics. Absolutely, yeah. I it, only way it would have made this probably the best week ever is if uh, World's Finest came out this week. Then it probably would have been one of the best weeks ever. Yeah, you got to save that one for a down week where there's nothing else worth reading, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> so, Drew, you had something that you want to let the viewers know about your project. It's going to be in comic shops soon. What do they need to know? Yes, Born of Blood number one, the final order cutoff, the FOC for your local comic book shop is today this sunday be sure you get a hold of your comic book shop let them know you want to pre-order born of blood number one because not many shops take a risk on indies you know they, they are a big risk so let them know that you want to pre-order a copy from the lunar distribution catalog i truly believe you'll love this issue uh Giaris, in my opinion is the best new female character in comics i am throwing that gauntlet down right now there's only one comic book that stands out as the very best on the market i say it's Batman Superman World's Finest from Mark Way to Dan Mora. If you're looking for something great and you haven't started this comic book, check out this video. I really break it down exactly what's going right with this and why it's so phenomenal. And if you're on a mobile device, there's a link in the video description. Definitely check that out and support a great comic book. 